Good day. Today we're going to discuss another components of MAPE Grade 8 for the second quarter, which is Art 8. Just to recognize all the lessons, discussions, and topics are came from the learners material provided from the regional office of Calabarzon, which is the Pivot for a learners material. For today, we're going to discuss the topic, the elements and principle of art in the production of arts and crafts inspired by the cultures of East Asia. Lesson Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will analyze elements and principles of art in the production of arts and crafts inspired by the cultures of East Asia. You will also describe and compare the elements and principles used in paintings of the three countries. You are expected also to show appreciation by employing the elements and principle of arts from East Asia in one's work. Lesson Introductions This lesson was designed to help you learn about East Asian countries, specifically China, Japan, and Korea. These countries have been noted for their numerous similarities and commonalities in terms of their production, artistic traditions, elements, and principle of arts, as influenced by their history, beliefs, religion, location, culture, and dynasty. Observe the objects or elements on the following paintings. What can you say about the paintings? Do they have different ideas and elements used? The ideas and objects used in the paintings are called subjects, themes, or motif. This may be about animals, peoples, landscapes, or anything about the environment. And these are commonly used in East Asian arts and crafts. Painting Paintings or other art forms become more attractive or beautiful because of the elements of arts and principle of design used. It helps in giving a clearer image, ideas, or message to the ones who look at it. Did you know that paintings started from prehistoric era? They used red ochre and black pigment on their paintings. Early painting often showed hunting scenes of man chasing various animals such as horses, rhinoceros, lions, Buffalos, mammoths. These prehistoric paintings were drawn on the walls of caves, blocks of stone, and others. They can be found all over the world, particularly in China. The history of Eastern painting is as old as China's civilization. Historically, it is comparable to Western history of paintings. Countries in East Asia continued to influence each other's Production of arts over the countries. Painting subjects or themes for China. Number one, flowers and birds. Number two, landscapes. Number three, palaces and temples. Four, human figures. Five, animals. Six, bamboos and stones. Painting and subjects or themes for Japan. Scenes from everyday life and narrative scenes crowded with figures and details. And lastly, painting and subjects are themes for South Korea and North Korea. Subjects are divided into five categories. Number one, landscape paintings. Number two, minwa or the traditional folk painting. Number three, four gracious plants, plum blossoms. Orchids, wild orchids, chrysanthemums. Number four, bamboo. And lastly, here are the examples of East Asian paintings, particularly China, Japan, and Korea. 
Let us continue the discussion for our arts grade 8 for the second quarter. And the topic we're going to discuss is the characteristic of arts and crafts in specific countries in East Asia. Lesson Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will identify the characteristic of arts and crafts of China, Japan, and Korea, explain their similarities and differences, and manifest the East Asian arts characteristics in one's artwork. Lesson Introduction The East Asian countries have distinct art forms. They have developed them to certain heights of excellence. Their arts have acquired distinct characteristics which would tell at a glance where they originated. Observe the pictures below. Try to identify the East Asian country that the pictures depicts. Do they portray the characteristic of arts and crafts of three East Asian countries? Characteristics According to Google's dictionary, it is a feature or quality belonging typically to a person, place, or thing and serving to identify it. It is also true for the arts and crafts in East Asia. You can easily identify the artworks by their distinct characteristics. Important Aspects in East Asian Painting Number 1. Landscape Painting It was regarded as the highest form of Chinese painting. They also consider the three concepts of their arts, Earth, Heaven, and Humankind, or the Yin Yang. Chinese society is basically agricultural. It has always laid great stress on understanding the pattern of nature, and living in accordance with it. Oriental artists often created landscape rather than paintings with a human figure as object. Number 2. Silk It was often used as the medium to paint upon, but it was quite expensive. When the Han court, Enoch, Kai Lun invented the paper in the 1st century AD. It provided not only a cheap and widespread medium for writing, but painting also became more economical. Number 3. Ideologies The ideologies of Confucianism, Taoism, and the Buddhism played important roles in East Asian arts. Chinese art expresses the human understanding of the relationship between nature and human. It is evident in the form of painting landscapes, bamboo, birds, and flower. This is called the metaphysical and the Taoist aspect of Chinese painting. Sihe, who was a writer, art historian, and critic in 5th century China, established the six principles of Chinese painting. Number one, observe rhythm and movements. Number two, leave spaces for the eyes to rest. Number three, use brush in calligraphy. Number four, Use colors correctly. Number five, live up to tradition by copying the master's artwork. Number six, copy the correct proportion of the objects and nature. Paintings can be mounted on scrolls, such as hang scrolls or hand scrolls, Album sheets, walls, lockerware, folding screens, and other media. Among the Chinese people, painting is closely related to calligraphy. And so, what is calligraphy? This image represents the scroll containing calligraphy. It is the art of beautiful handwriting. The following are its characteristics. Number one, it involves the same techniques as traditional painting. Number two, it is done with a brush dip in black or colored ink. Number three, it does not use oils. Number four, it has a strong linear focus which the features are conveyed primarily with tin. 
sharply defined lines. Number 5. Paper and silk are its popular materials which painting are also made of. Number 6. Poet writes their calligraphy on their paintings. Logographs. These ancient writing symbols are engraved on the shoulder bones of large animals on tortoise shells. Gwen. In Chinese, it is bone and shell script. Jigwen is pictograph script found on oracle bones. He is the legendary inventor of Chinese writing. He got his ideas from observing animals' footprints and birds' claw, marks on the sand as well as other natural phenomena. He then started to work out simple images from what he conceived as representation of their different objects such as sun, moon, mountain, water, rain, wood, dog, cattle, and horse. Woodblock Printing it is a technique for printing text, images, or patterns used widely throughout East Asia. It originated in China as a method of printing on textiles but eventually became a method for printing on paper. It was a method adopted in Japan during the Edo period and became one of their oldest and most highly developed visual arts. It is most common theme in Japan for printmaking which describes scenes from everyday life. It narrates the scene and it's often packed with figures and detail. Korean Paintings History It dates to 108 CE. It has first appeared as an independent form. It is said that until the Joseon Dynasty, the primary influence of Korean paintings were Chinese paintings. However, Korean paintings have subjects as, as landscape, facial features, Buddhist topics. Also, it has emphasis on celestial observation in keeping with the rapid development of Korean astronomy. Mountain and water are important features in Korean landscape painting. It is a site for building temples and buildings. Landscape painting represents both a portrayal of nature itself and a codified illustration of the human view of nature and the world. This image is an example of Korean painting. Japanese Okiyoi. It means pictures of the floating world. It is best known and the most popular style of Japanese art, which also it is related to the style of woodblock printing make the show scenes of harmony and carefree everyday living. It was produced in a diversity of different media, including painting. It became an art domain of the upper classes and royalty, but latter was also reproduced by the common people. That is the end of the lesson 1 and 2. See you tomorrow for the lesson 3 and 4.